Hey Gemini, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for December the 15th through the 21st. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Gemini. Um, I do have a deal going on right now for personals. It's a $25 three-question video reading, so details are down below for anyone who may be interested, of course. So we are going to go ahead and dive right on in here, Gemini, see what we got for you, okay? All right, what do we have for Gemini here? Okay. Not my favorite of energies, but we'll take it. Um, ooh, no, those are really good down there, actually, Gemini. Wow, you have both the World and the Wheel of Fortune. That's kind of rare to get both of those um, with so few cards. You have the uh, World and the Wheel of Fortune down here. Um, so these are fixed energy Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. I actually want to get to that in a minute because all the cards down here look like future energy, if that makes sense. You know, all of them represent, like, forward movement, you know, completion. We have the chariot here, like, this is literally for movement, triumph over obstacles, it's victory. We have the world, stepping out of one world into another, it's completion. We have the will of fortune, which is also fate, destiny for movement. Um, and something like just making sense in general when the will of fortune, uh, you know, comes up. Well, it's will of the year here in this deck, but whatever, you know. It, it represents a cycle closing and a new one beginning, like something... Spirit is going to make sense of something for you here, I'm telling you. You have the two of candles as your overall energy here. So this is the two of wands. Somebody could have Mars and Aries. Like, look at how proud this person is here in the card. Look at her. You know, she, she's writing these cards here. I really feel like your future self is sending you a message here. Because look at this up here. You've got the five of candles, the ten of candles, and you've got um, Matrona here, okay? So Matrona is the empress. I'll show you her in a second. You got the five of candles. This is conflict, competition, strife. You could be fighting with someone or there's just this like very intense battle going on in your life. I feel like some of you at times you may feel like you can't even handle it. Um, I'm actually going to place a resource down below for somebody here. Um, it's going to be for somebody. So uh, look down there if you're interested in the description box, okay? Um, because for some of you, I'm feeling like you're in that 10 of wands energy where it's just becoming a lot to carry, you know, Matrona showing up here. Um, some of you, there's just a lot of work to do in that 10 of wands. Okay. 10 of wands can be carrying a burden, but it can also be, I wish that they kind of had this in the imagery because in the traditional 10 of wands, he's like got all the wands over his face and he can't even see how close he is to his castle, to his home, you know? And so I kind of wish that was here, but I also kind of get it with the two of wands. Um, we have the five of candles here. Like I said, this is conflict competition. This could be a battle you're having with one person. It could be an inner battle. Um, you know, it could be with some sort of, uh, ex like other conflict. It doesn't have to be with a person, but either way it goes, whatever you're going through here, Gemini, um, you know, the empress, like this card here, it comes with the message that even in the dead of winter, there's the promise of spring. That's the message from your future self here. You are going to conquer this. Like you can literally see it here in the chariot, in the world, in the will of the year, you know, you are like, there is for movement for you here. 100%, 100%, you guys, like you've really got to believe it. You've really got to have faith in that. Okay. Um, like you can see her here, like kind of writing the message. Look underneath this, you guys, does this have to do with a home? Does this have to do with a living situation, ace of gifts or something stabilizing? Is there something in your life that's just not stable enough and it's stressing you out with the 10 of wands, five of candles? Like, I'm not saying there's going to be a pregnancy, but there definitely could be, you know, really what I'm saying here is that like, there is going to be the birth of a new you. Okay. You got the sun right here in her, in her stomach. That's what she's pregnant with, right? The sun is literally the happiest card in the deck. That energy is like new beginnings. It's high vibrations. It's joy. Um, so I love to see this here for you. I really do. I feel like a lot of you, if you have lost passion or motivation or energy, it's going to be restored. You can see it there in the candle. I feel like there's a lot to figure out. Yes, Gemini, absolutely. But I feel like your future self is like really trying to let you know that, hey, we're going to do it. You know, we're going to do it. I'm right here. You know, like this is like we made it, you know, you look at this on the bottom of the deck. You have the ace of candles. Okay. Literally that candle was in the lantern. I feel like you're really going to like let your creative spark, um, Wow. Okay. A lot of you, this has to do with love too. Um, but you know, I do feel like there's something like you're creating greatness here and with the mistletoe and the two of good cheer showing up, like this has a really solid connection. Honestly, some of you, it could be with another Gemini with the mistletoe showing up because this is the lovers. I think that for some of you, one of the problems showing up here could be that somebody is interfering with connections or something of that nature here. There, there's interference, you know, on some level for sure. But I do feel like the two of cups being present here, eventually that is going to be cut out of the picture, you know, um, cause 
the two of cups is right here they're able to exchange in peace and happiness um so i love to see that here for you gemini i really feel like spirit is giving you a shove forward here um yeah, I feel like your future self really wants you to know that, like, you end up on the other side of this issue here, you know? Um, a lot of you guys see a move. It could be, like, really far away, um, you know, with the world and with the uh, chariot showing up. If that's the case, I honestly feel like it'd be in your best interest. I think it'd be something that you would celebrate. Queen of Gifts, the child. Yeah. Um, you know, the child represents like mystery. You can see him looking into this chimney here. That's what that represents because this is the full card technically. Um, you know, but here in this deck in the Yuletide Tarot, it is the child. And the mystery is sort of like the cliff, you know, um, or the chimney is sort of like the cliff. It represents like mystery because when the fool is jumping off the cliff, he's, or off the cliff, he's like looking up into the air and he doesn't know if the, if he's going to jump like three feet or 300 feet, right? So it's like there's risk with that. You know, there's mystery. There's like the element of the unexpected and i do feel like spirit's asking you to embrace that excitement even if it seems scary you know i think for a lot of you you've had to start all over moving from the queen of gifts to the page of gifts but yeah i mean there is a significant transition here we can't deny that we can't deny it but i do think you've been through the worst of it and you're in magus mode magician mode okay you're making things happen he's cutting down that mistletoe which is like the heel all and you know i really feel like you're putting that to use on yourself. Some of you could be into Reiki, okay? You could be, um, you could practice Reiki. You could be doing that on yourself. So that's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. Some of you, you could have an Aquarius coming in for you as well an Aquarius or a Virgo or maybe another Gemini, like I said before. Um, I feel like there is a person here who's wanting to build with you. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. I, I do feel like for a lot of you, though, you're, there's more of a focus on yourself and other duties and obligations. So that's what I am seeing here at Gemini. I hope this was helpful. Um, details are below for anybody who's interested in personals, okay? Um, like I said, the deal I have going on, it's going on until December the 16th. So if you're interested, everything is below this video in the description box. But if this is where we part, Gemini, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.